Welcome back to our conversation with Jeff Deal, the state representative from Whitman, who is a candidate in the Republican primary for U.S. Senate. That's on September 4th, by the way. Make a note of that. It's coming up fast. So, Jeff, um, Senator Warren has consistently during her term focused harsh scrutiny on big corporations uh, and the way they treat their consumers or mistreat them. Wells Fargo, for instance, big student loan originators. Would you do the same as a U.S. Senator? Yeah, look, I know there's this misnomer that Republicans are just in the pocket for big businesses. Uh, to me, I think that policy that I've seen here in Massachusetts, like the film tax credit, I don't think that works for, for Massachusetts. I don't like government giving big subsidies to certain industries. I think GE probably could have come to Massachusetts for reasons beyond tax incentives. So look, I think that uh, making sure that government uh, isn't picking, choose, uh, picking winners and losers when they're doing uh, policy, whether it's uh, incentives and all that. Uh, I, I do agree that uh, we need to make sure that corporations are held accountable. But at the same time, you know, her the agency that was created, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, I think there's redundancy with attorneys general across the United States who all already are there to deal with consumer issues. And uh, they do class action suits uh, for multiple states, multi-state corporations. I think it, uh, the other problem, I think, with her Consumer Protection Agency that was created is the fact that it's funded by the Federal Reserve. There's no auditing. So they promulgate regulation, they fine people, and then that money, we don't know where it's going. So if you're sitting on a committee and there's the CEO of Wells Fargo that uh, was uh, uh, selling consumers products they didn't want and never asked for and padding their revenues that way. They should be would, punished. Would Absolutely. we see you giving them hell? Absolutely. In fact, in 2011, when I first took office as a state representative, the foreclosure crisis was hitting my district, Abington, Whitman, East Bridgewater, particularly hard. Uh, working class communities having trouble, you know, making payments on their homes. And when uh, banks were doing these robocall, uh, robo signings to uh, foreclose on their homes, I stepped in to try to help specifically with individuals in my district to make sure that they stayed in their home. Uh, that's something that we can't allow is, um, you know, in any industry really taking advantage of either workers or consumers. We heard a lot of rhetoric during the campaign in 2016 and since uh, from the Trump administration about uh, the importance of having an outsider come in, in his case, a business uh, man. Uh, in your race, you're running against uh, a businessman in Kingston, and uh, Beth Lindstrom's been in government, but also has run a small business. Uh, you're the only elected official in the race. How do you... Uh, match that up? How do you, how do you uh, address that? Well, I was 40 years old when I ran for office the first time. I, I, my wife and I own a small business successful on the South Shore. Uh, you know, I've stood up to the insiders on Beacon Hill and my own party uh, against special interest, not just with the gas tax ballot question, but fighting to, to stop the Olympics from coming to Massachusetts when we knew there was going to be a $10 billion price tag for the uh, overruns that taxpayers would have had to cover uh, for that agreement. So I've been willing to stand up to special interests on both sides. And in this case, you know, I think think going to Washington needs someone who has the experience, is electable, and has a record of lowering taxes, putting money back in people's pockets. If people want to find out more about you, where you stand on issues, your campaign, how do they do it? They should go to dealforsenate.com, which is spelled D-I-E-H-L-F-O-R, senate.com, and there they can get the standard stuff like the lawn sign and the bumper sticker, but they can also get involved and make sure that they're a part of a campaign that we know is going to win in November. Good luck on September 4th. Thanks, John. Appreciate your time. Take care. That's Jeff Deal, state representative and Republican candidate for U.S. Senate. That's it for me. Now it's back over to my colleagues for more WBZ News.